Almost every web page starts with a basic HTML skeleton, and I'm going to very quickly go through the basics of this. Uh, they almost always start with an HTML tag, uh, which means we'll put a closing HTML tag at the bottom. Just inside HTML we have our head tag, opening and closing, as, and then after the head we have what's called the body tag. The body tag will go the duration of the rest of the HTML. Inside the head tag, we typically have what's called the title tag, which will be our the title of our website. So I could say my first website, etc. Once we've got everything typed in here and complete, um, and, and maybe we put something here in the body, maybe we say content goes here, dot, dot, dot. Um, typing this is one thing, but maybe even more important than typing this all correctly is saving it correctly. First of all, you have to know where you're going to save this to. So generally, I will make a folder for every week that I'll save it to. Um, I'll go up to File and Save As. And I'll go create a folder. Uh, for myself, I'm going to call this week one, WK01 for week one. And it's very, very important on the format that you save this. You want to save it as index.html. Index is always going to be the name of every home page for every, every assignment, every project. Um, and I'll explain more about that once we start our file management lesson. But I'm going to save it as index.html to some folder on my desktop or on my drive. Now, if you're on a PC um, and you're using Notepad or Notepad++, you'll have to type in index.html under Save As. And then under Save As Type, you'll need to change that to All Types or HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. Um, if you're on a Mac, you typically don't have to do any of that. I'm on a Mac here, so I'm only typing index.html, and, and that should do it for, for us. When you hit Save... Um, you should see your code change just a little bit. Um, it'll look a little different on a PC. It'll be color-coded just a little differently. Uh, but you should see some color coding now. Uh, here on a Mac, my tags turned blue. My content turned black. If you're on a PC, it's, it's about the same. I think the, the content gets bold as well as uh, turning black or staying black as well. This color coding is a tremendous asset because if we forget something on some of our code, for example, if you forget to put your closing bracket on there, I'll notice my color coding is different now. This turns to kind of a purple color, and if that's content, that shouldn't be that way. So that gives me an indicator. Something's wrong with this, so let's, from here, look up and see where the problem might be. And I can see that it's right there. I can put that closing bracket back on, and it color codes things appropriately. Very, very important as a web designer. Basic HTML skeleton includes the HTML, head, title, and body tags. This will be a part of every project you create, uh, whether in school or professionally.